everyone and welcome to Equine Inspired. My name is Sabrina and in today's video I have a used horse tack haul for you guys because over the weekend I went to a 4-H used horse tack sale basically and it was really big and they had just arenas and outside uh, booths full of used horse tack for super cheap prices and so I thought it would just be fun to sit down and share with you everything that I got because I got a lot of random things from like western saddle pads to English head stalls and an exercise saddle which I'm really excited to show you guys so hopefully you enjoy it and let's get started first thing I'm going to show you guys is this beautiful black horsewear English head stall that I got from the sale and I love it so much. I have been looking for a black English head stall with this really wide brow band and wide nose band as well as it having this curve to it on each and I've been looking for one just like this for a really long time and it was only $15 and when I went online I found out that this specific head stall is worth like $144 which is a crazy amount of money and I only got it for $15 and so I'm really happy about it. I've been looking for one for so long and basically I ride Western but I prefer to ride Emma at least in an English head stall just because she works better in it and with the nose band she keeps her mouth shut because she often tries to evade the bit by opening her mouth every once in a while. So I don't think it really matters if you like to ride an English head stall but you like to ride a western saddle or vice versa. Whatever basically makes you and your horse comfortable is what you should do. So I really could care less if I ride western but I ride an English head stall because I really love this head stall and I think it's beautiful and it's going to work great. So the next thing are these Bar F black boots and they are in the size large. I got these for $3. And I basically already have like sports medicine boots for Emma, but they are a size too large for her. So they are actually creating a sore on her fetlock, which is not good. And this part right here goes down like way too far and is just rubbing her. So hopefully since these are the size large, they will fit her pretty good. And basically I just took them home, rinsed them off, and now they look pretty good. The Velcro still works. And I like that they go through this little loop right here to like secure them. I think that's a nice little feature. Hopefully these will work good and I'm happy to have another pair of boots. The next thing I got is this Hits 2014 Burgundy shoulder bag. It has a little shoulder strap right here. And I'm really excited to use this for the barn because I like to have one central bag where I put my phone in, my wallet, my water, my keys, all that kind of stuff. And so I just think that this bag is going to be perfect for that. I also think that this burgundy color is really beautiful and it was only $3 which is a really great price. Then I got another English head stall but this is a uh, basically like a dark Havana brown flash English head stall because it has the little flash right here. And this was only $10. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't know what brand it is. The only thing I see is that this little thing right here says made in England. So I know it's made in England I guess. Uh, but it's just this really like pretty Havana brown color and I like that it has a flash on it. So if I need to use that, I definitely will. So when I went to this tax sale, I basically had this goal to get a lot of western saddle pads because I basically have had these two pads I use on and on for like the past two years. So I went to the tax sale looking for some really cute saddle pads that were like under $15 or so and I was really happy with what I found. So I found this tan green and red saddle pad right here. I really like this one. It definitely needs a good cleaning but this is what the pattern looks like if you guys can see it. <laughs> I think that this is going to be really pretty after I clean it and it has some really really great padding like I can tell this is really nice and shock absorbing right here and I really like these little suede pieces right here by the withers and by where the fenders hang so I think that will be really nice but I definitely need to give it a good cleaning because if you look inside it's pretty gross and dirty, so I definitely need to clean it. I think it'll look really cute on Emma. And this pad was only $5, which is an insanely good price for a saddle pad. So I did say that I bought a lot of saddle pads because I did. Here's another one that I bought. This one is really pretty. I love this blue and red and white kind of like checkered pattern. As you can see, it's really cute. Um, it's from the brand 
Tuffy, which I've never heard of that brand either. But this is obviously a used saddle pad. It's pretty dirty as well because if you look under here, you can see it's pretty dirty. Not as dirty as the other one, but I still need to clean it before I use it. And it has these little nice little like suede pieces right here by the withers and also down here by the fender, which is nice. But I just really, oh, I just whacked myself in the head with this. That was, that was successful. <laughs> Basically, I just really love the color of this because it's so pretty. It's going to look so great with the Billy Cook barrel saddle that I am currently riding in. And it also has these really nice little pockets right here that add extra support for your saddle, which is really cool. Like, I can just feel them right here. And this one was only $5 as well. And I got one more saddle pad, but I actually left it in my sister's car, so I can't really show you guys right now. But I will get a quick little video of it and I'll talk a little bit about it as well. So the next saddle pad that I got is a fleece saddle pad. It's just beautiful like green color and it has a lot of nice fluffy fleece on it and it also has the nice little suede pieces by the withers and by where the fenders hang and I got this saddle pad for only $15. It's not even too dirty. I can tell it's only been used a couple of times but I'm just Really excited to see how all of these saddle pads will look on Emma. Next thing that I got is this black western cinch and it is from the brand Tuffy. As you can see this cinch is pretty old, like there's a lot of rust right here, I'm trying to get rid of the rust. Uh, but basically it's just a nice sturdy western cinch. It is a size 36 which is just what Emma needs. It's nice and long and there's nothing wrong with the exterior of it. And I just cleaned the inside of it, so hopefully it's going to start looking a lot better. <laughs> so I decided to save the best for last. Well, not really the best, but I guess the most interesting part of this tack haul. And basically, I bought this exercise saddle, which is really weird, and I have to explain the story to you. <laughs> so first of all, here is the exercise saddle, right here. As you guys can see, there is damage right here and obviously on the other side. This has split and there's a lot of tearing going on right here. So I was looking at this booth uh, that was basically from this huge horse rescue in the state that where I live in. So they had tons of tack and they were selling it for super cheap prices to help fundraise for the 4-H and to also help fundraise for their rescue and sanctuary. And I was looking at this exercise saddle because recently I had done a lot of research on looking up exercise saddles. I want to know a little bit about how they're made, if you can use them for regular riding and all that kind of stuff. And I was kind of interested in just buying one to just, you know, like plop on Emma when I just want like a quick little 25 to 30 minute ride and kind of use it as like a bareback pad, but not exactly. I pick up this exercise saddle and this guy comes up to me, this older guy, and he's like, you are the first one to pick up that saddle today or even give it a look. He goes, how about I'll sell it to you for $5? And I was like, ooh, I could use it as decor. It was my first thought because obviously it's broken right here. So I was like, sure, and I checked and there's nothing wrong with the tree right here. The tree is completely sturdy. I did all the tests. It's not broken or cracked or anything. There's just some tearing along the seat of the saddle. I told him, I'm like, yeah, I could use it as a project. Maybe I could take it to a saddle repair shop and have them just fix the seat. And I could just use it every once in a while as a fun little saddle to just toss on. I was like, sure, I'll take it. Um, and basically, I just think that the saddle is really cool. I've never owned an English saddle, let alone an exercise saddle. Uh, but all the billets, oh, this is so awkward. <laughs> all the billets work. There's nothing wrong with them on each side. <clears throat> so yeah, they both work. I gave it a really good cleaning because it definitely needed one. So hopefully I can take it to a saddle repair shop and get this part sewn up and fixed. Because other than that, there's nothing wrong with it and hopefully I can just use it for some fun. All right, so that is the end of my used horse tack haul for you guys. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I know there was a lot of random things, but I really love tack hauls when people have a lot of variety of what they got, so hopefully you enjoy this one. I'm so pumped to try all this stuff out on Emma, hopefully today, because I'm gonna head out to the barn after this. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!